This is a beautiful example of reverberation. I wasn't clapping for applause, I was clapping because we can hear the reverberation that is extreme in this room. One of the reasons for the reverberation being so extreme that you could hear earlier are the room, the walls are parallel. But another phenomena which is to be avoided at all cost, the width of the room and the length of the room are roughly proportions of each other. The length of this wall is roughly twice the length of the end wall. We try to avoid this because effectively what we're establishing are room modes, but also we're getting a standing wave. A standing wave within a room accentuates the reverberation. Right now we've only got carpet on the floor. We have hard surfaces on the walls which are in parallel. The end wall is at right angle. The ceiling has no sound absorbing material whatsoever. It's gyp rock, nothing to absorb the sound. The few bits of furniture here are all solid. Remember this, this is what we seek to avoid for obvious reasons. So we're in this room now which has got hard walls, hard surfaces, a lot of sound has been reflected off these hard surfaces, concrete and such like surfaces. But the reality is we want clarity of speech. We want to be able to be heard and understood. This is a video conferencing room. So therefore in normal mode situations these curtains are spread right around the room. We have a situation where we then have an air gap. This gets rid of the reflected sound. The other feature is we have carpet on the floor. We have cloth covered seats. The people in the room itself are absorbing some of the sound. And so therefore clarity of speech is what we're talking about. Easily understood. This is not possible when we have reverberation. Reverberation is where we have the sound bouncing off hard surfaces and that takes away the clarity of speech. We are not easily understood. If however there was a choir standing here singing, we want reverberation because the reverberation enhances people singing. But in normal office environment we want clarity of speech one sound source, we don't want multiple sound sources reflecting off the wall. Let's see what difference retracting the curtains make. What we've done now is we've retracted the curtains for half the room. The reverberation will have been reduced slightly. There's still some reflection of hard surfaces that are still exposed. This is a little bit better but it's not perfect. Ideally, we would have the curtains full length, which is what we will do in a few minutes. But the reality is, in most offices, you can't have the curtains drawn. People like to look outside, people like to see the outside world. Reality is, we introduce as many materials into the room to absorb sound. As I referred to earlier, the sound absorbing material that's in the ceiling is deliberately designed to absorb sound. Most modern offices have acoustic ceilings deliberately so that any reflected sound that goes through the acoustic material reflects off the ceiling, the concrete usually, is absorbed on the second time through. This is so that we can have reasonably quiet offices. Most modern offices now have acoustic screens at various intervals around the office, deliberately to break up the sound so that it is manageable and acceptable. We don't particularly want to listen to somebody else's conversation on the phone. Sometimes it's hard to avoid. We now have 
move the curtains so that they are fully extended right around the room. This is so that we can remove reverberation from the room. It's a bit claustrophobic, but we can understand that in this situation here of a conference room. The main thing that I want you to come, learn from this is that we try as best we can to create environments where if the spoken word is what is being conveyed, then it is coming from one source only. We don't want multiple reflections. This creates an echo effect. We call that reverberation. The main important thing here is that you can hear me clearly, distinctly, because the curtains have now been totally retracted so that you can have total coverage of the walls. Any sound that makes it through the curtain is then absorbed on the second time through. We can pretty well have what we call a dead room. This is a situation that you try to achieve in a sound studio where there is no reflected sound whatsoever. A sound studio is an ideal place where the sound level of any outside noise is reduced to about 20 decibels. Right now in this room, the only sound that you can hear other than my speech is a little bit of the air conditioning. The decibel rating here would be about 30 decibels. That's a beautiful situation where you can carry on a conversation quite easily. Some of us have worked in industrial areas where the sound level is upwards of 60 or 70 decibels. Very hard to carry on a conversation that is understood easily. Sometimes we've had to shout in order to make ourselves heard to somebody who's only metres away. The reason for that is the background noise is removing the intelligibility of our speech. In an industrial environment, it's unavoidable. In this environment here, it would be totally unacceptable. No one would be able to understand us if we we're in a video conferencing situation. This room, as I've pointed out, is ideally suited. It's been designed for clarity of speech and the reflected sound is removed now by having the curtains fully extended. 